Hello and welcome. We're here at Chipmunk Caves in British Columbia's Chilliwack River Valley to share how the use of imagery in a story is detrimental to assisting the reader engage with their environment. I'd like to take some examples that I found in Edgar Allan Poe's short story, The Cask of Amontillado, while we take our journey through some local cave systems. So come along. reset the scene. Our narrator has convinced Fortunato to leave the carnival and follow him out into the catacombs, where he is promised the desired bottle of Amontillado. It's within this journey through the vaulted crypts that Poe truly delivers these powerful depictions that resonate through our senses. This is where I'd like to gather some examples of imagery and discuss them further. small quotations have the ability to divulge a ton of information. What exactly do these two quotations provide for the reader's senses? We get a sense of damp, moldy air, a rich staleness that seems to be provided due to the absence of life. We start to get a clear indication that Fortunato is probably not going to come back. Now, let us take a look at our final quotation up on ahead. So this was perhaps my favorite quotation within these catacombs. The torch losing its ability to breathe in the low oxygen environment gives the reader the reiteration that Fortunato's life is coming to an end as we give witness to the flame struggling to stay alive. Now, descending downward through the series of archways, Poe's writing begins to perceive this sense of claustrophobic isolation that mirrors drawing a casket into a grave ever so slowly and carefully. There's an importance and responsibility in which these literary devices uphold in conjunction to the descriptions of the catacombs. The use of foreshadow and symbolism as imagery devices within Montresor's catacombs was integral to the layout of this fictional writing. Well, unlike Fortunato, my cave has an exit that I would like to continue on to. So thanks for coming along with me. Maybe we'll go for a drink later. Cheers.